Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if it is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these leaf earrings. To make the earrings, I will be using 16 inches of 14 gauge aluminum wire and 4 inches of 20 gauge sterling silver wire a flush cutter a flat nose pliers a chain nose pliers a ruler and a row nose pliers I'm also going to use this peroxide bottle to shape the wire and the sanding block to smooth the end of the air wires. So what I'm doing right here, I'm marking exactly where I'm going to place the wires. Also you don't have to use the exact same wires that I'm using. You can use silver plated or copper or gold, just use what you've got. Next I'm going to use the 4 inches of sterling to make the ear wires. Then I'm going to bend it like this and I'm going to squeeze it together and bring it close together. Then I'm going to use a chain nose pliers to squeeze it together. Before you make your loops you want to make sure that the wires are laying flat and they're not crossing over each other. To make a loop, place the wire between the barrels of the row nose pliers, then roll your dominant hand away from you and readjust your pliers, then roll away from you again until the loop is formed. Next I'm going to use a pencil to shape the wire. And be sure to have the P-shape facing up and not down when you are doing this. Next I'm going to trim the wires flush and I'm going to use the back of the flush cutter to do so. Then you are going to use your chain nose pliers to slightly bend out the ends of the wires like so. Then you are going to cut the loops like I'm doing right here and this is going to separate the hair wires. And you can close the loops by inserting back your own nose pliers and rolling your dominant hand away from you and this will close the loops. Next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the sanding block to smooth the end of the air wire so what you can do if you if you don't have a sanding block you can use a jeweler's um, file and moving on to the next step we are going to make the earrings so I'm going to place my thumb at the 5 inch mark on the 16 inch wire then I'm going to bring the bottom over to meet with the other side and I'm going to squeeze the wire down like so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other wire
Next you are going to cross the wires over as I'm doing. Then you are going to use your flat nose pliers to squeeze it down. You can also use your chain nose pliers to do so. But I find it a lot easier to use my flat nose pliers for this. Then you are going to do the exact same thing to the other wire. Then you are going to pull them apart and then um, measure. So this earring is going to be on the right side. Next you are going to make sure that the shorter end of the wire is facing to your right and the longer end is facing to your left and then you are going to wrap them both around the bottle and you are going to make sure that the longer end of the wire is sitting on top of the shorter end. And you want to hold the wires tightly and then you are going to remove the bottle and you are just going to hold it like I am doing. Then you are going to place your own nose pliers in the middle and I use the, I use the pointy bit as a guide to locate the middle and right here I'm just placing it back onto the bottle because it um, kind of slipped up so I'm just going to place it back onto the bottle and then I'm going to hold tightly and remove it So as you can see right here, the longer end of the wire is at the front and I'm going to bring it over the barrel of the pliers and underneath and then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the shorter end at the back. Then you are going to hold the wires as I'm doing and then remove the pliers. Then you are going to insert the bottom barrel of the pliers into the loops. Then you are going to bring the front wire all the way across to complete the loop and you are going to do the exact same thing with the shorter end of the wire at the back. Next you are going to use the shorter end of the wire to secure both loops. So you are going to wrap it just under the loops and be sure to wrap, be sure to bring it across the front loop and then take it to the back. So I'm just pulling the wire as 
tight as I possibly can. So you are going to bring the wire to the back as I've done, then use your flush cutter to trim the excess and go ahead and use your chain nose pliers to tuck the end in. So the next airing is going to be for your left ear. So for this airing, the longer end of the wire is going to be facing your left and the shorter end is going to be facing your right side. And the shorter end of the wire is going to be sitting on top of the longer end. So the longer end is going to be at the bottom and the shorter end is going to be on top and you are going to make the loops just the same like you did the first airing. So as you can see right here, this airing, the shorter end is at the front and the longer end is at the back. So because the shorter end is at the front, I'm going to remove the um, airing from the pliers, then I'm going to turn it around because this will make it a lot easier for me to wrap the shorter end around the loops. And as you can see right here, the longer end of the wires are um, sitting opposite each other. Next, you are going to bring the longer end of the wire around the airing as I'm doing until you get to the very end of it. And you are going to make sure that your wires are trim flush. Next you are going to use your round nose pliers to coil the wires as I am doing.
And as you can see right here, the designs are facing opposite each other. One on the right and one on the left. Now you are going to attach your air wires. And you are going to open your air wires like so and for the right air, that's how you are going to attach the air wire. And for the left, you're going to attach it that way, as I'm doing. And that's it, you are done. So if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. And if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and comment if you like to. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.